park your window tin is? Oh, Officer McDaniel checked it last week. I swear to you, he pulled me over for it. You can check it, though. But yeah, he pulled me I, over last it's week for it. dark as hell. Yeah, he pulled me over last week for it. But he checked it and said it was fine. In Bristol, Tennessee, Officer Phil Kersnowski pulled over a very powerful person's daughter for what he believed to be illegal tents. In Tennessee, the window tent law states that no matter if it's a passenger vehicle or a multi-purpose vehicle, the side window tent should always allow at least 35% of the light in, and the front windshield should allow more than 70% of the light in. In this case, Sam's side window tent definitely looks darker than 35. The YouTube channel Cop Story 101 explains the laws of window tents in the state. Give him a follow if you can. Got Another officer's got a little meter that he can put on it. You close to Weaver Pike and Southside. Ten four, please. But yeah, Mc Officer oh, McDaniel um, checked it last week, like literally in front of my house. He pulled me over because no, he checked pulled me over in October because my tags were expired, mm -hmm. and um, he checked it then. Okay. You don't have like a medical exemption or anything like that, do you? No? Okay. Well, why, why is it so dark? <laughs> Other than it looks good. I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's been like this for a year and a half. At one point, Cop Story 101 catches something that is very important. Honest with you, if it's dark, if it's overly lit, I'm going to give you a citation. However, that's just because the admin's on our ass over Wednesday. One phone call from your dad would probably get rid of it and save all of us a lot of, a lot of, a lot of heartache. The chief and captain are real heavy on Wednesday right now. We don't know why. I just. So, no. We all said if we found you driving, we'd be right to teach you. You all said that? Well, we all know your window tint's real dark. And I don't believe that's, that's, but yeah, um. So you're, you all are targeting him? No. You just no, said it? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, just, like I said, one call from your dad would probably make all this go away. It would save all of us a lot of heartache. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got your license on you? Yeah, I do. Very very interesting, but there's more. I don't like you. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why don't you like Carter? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> You're going to roll this one up just a little bit. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> or that one. He might get his chin stuck in it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one. What's 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 the legal on this meter? What's the legal limit on the meter? It's supposed to be 35. I usually do 30. What is it? 12. All right. There's your ID back. Except I hate doing this, but our admin's on us real heavy for window tent. A lot of us don't agree with it, but. My mom got a ticket today too. <laughs> where, where? I'm giving her so much shit for it. And now I'm like, uh, Graham. Oh well, Josh is a jerk. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Don't tell people that. <laughs> no, uh, court date set for February 26th at a.m. Uh, you do have the option of having it taken off and get legal limit, and the judge will treat it as a warning and he'll dismiss it. I'm not even going to be in town that day. There's a number on the back there you can call and have it rescheduled. Okay. Or you can just pay the ticket and leave the window tent as it is. However, it won't stop other people from stopping you. Wild. Okay. All right. All right. You just sign there. Not admission to guilt. saying you receive a citation. You'll get taken care of. You'll appear in court. Afterwards, the senator called the police chief Blaine Wade to joke about the fact that both his wife and daughter got a ticket on the same day. And here is Senator John Lundberg. The officer would be fired via Police One 
WJHL reports that former officer Phil Kersnowski pulled over Sam Lundberg for a window tint violation. During the traffic stop, Kersnowski criticized his department's window tinting enforcement policy and urged her to get her father, Senator John Lundberg, involved. Kersnowski also tried to mute his body camera microphone during the exchange. Senator Lundberg said he called the police chief, Blaine Wade, and made light of the fact that his daughter and wife received tickets on the same day. He added, that he did not call the chief, who he considers a personal friend, to try and get his daughter out of the ticket, which, let's be clear, could be disputed. Officer Kersnowski, seen here, would be terminated. Kersnowski was insubordinate with his attempt to persuade someone to take action to change police department policy that he does not agree with, the memo said. The senator said he regrets calling the chief and said that the officer was unjustly fired. He even hired an attorney for Kersnowski to try and help get his job back. However, he'd be fine because, of course, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Department hired him as a corrections officer. Although the police requested a review of possible criminal charges against Kersnowski, according to Sullivan County District Attorney Barry Staubis, a DA found no grounds for any criminal charges.